Is the camera on? Oh, all right. Um, well, Mr. Darcy is an absolute bore. He just walks into the ballroom and just sits on the side and is like, mm -hmm. He said the most horrid things about Lizzie. Mr. Darcy. Well, he's a very proud man. He, he has a certain decorum or a lack thereof that uh, really in, in, in present company or does not always, uh, I think a teacher would probably say, does not play well with others. At first, I didn't like him at all, really. Very tall, not a very good dancer. Well, actually, a good dancer, but just in a particular kind of way, like dorky, really, a dorky dancer. I don't know why any woman would want to be caught marrying that man, although he is ever so rich. Whoever marries him will own a lot of hats. Wow. I just don't believe he has much of a personality. So dour. I don't believe he cares what others think of him, which would explain his behavior. He can stand up very straight. And he's also quite handsome, really. Quite, quite handsome. You know, people say that he's a very well-dressed man, but he doesn't even have a soldier's uniform, like Wickham. <laughs> Wickham's my personal friend, and he's a soldier, a lieutenant. What else can I say about Fitzwilliam Darcy? First of all, his name is Fitzwilliam, so it gives you an idea. He's a very rich man, but he's just so disagreeable. He's not very good at talking, but he says beautiful things, and he does all these amazing good deeds. Does the right thing, often, really. He seems to be rather stuck up, but nobody knows him, really. He's just shy. I mean, honestly, he's sort of the best person I've ever met, when you think about it.